Hey guys, what's up? This is Chubbs again, and uh, today I'm going to present you with another um, Doom Builder tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to create doors. And uh, this is something that some some people have been asking me here recently is how to how to create doors. And there, although there are some uh, video tutorials already up on YouTube about this, I'm going to uh, um, show you basically just uh, with a voice, uh, just me talking you through it, which. Uh, kind of hard to find anymore these days most of the tutorials are text based but let's go ahead and get started here uh, I'll just start with a, a very simple map let's see, I'll, um, I'll be mapping just in Doom 2 today and this also works in Doom 1 so don't worry I'm just gonna choose the very first map yeah so uh, if, you, yeah, if you have Doom Doom 1 don't worry about it you can still everything works the same way so let's start out here let's just go ahead and uh, create just a very simple uh, square sector this is where you'll start and let's add a player start here and by the way if you aren't real sure about what I'm doing here you may need to watch my earlier tutorial videos that kind of run down the basics and everything but um, now I have my player start uh, just a very simple room I'm not even gonna bother changing the uh, wall textures or anything so um, let's now move over and uh, let's start out with the door and what you want to do is you can use the uh, the left and right bracket keys to actually change the grid size. You may need to do this sometimes, and this would be like a, these are the keys um, just just to the left of the forward slash key, I believe is what it is. I always get forward and backslash mixed up, but it should be the bracket keys um, like uh, like just above the, where the inner key is usually. So, anyways, enough talking. Let's uh, press the uh, bracket key, the the right bracket key, and uh, it should change the grid size um, to 16 and uh, it you can uh, make it go all the way down to 1 which is basically you have there's no really not not really any, any restrictions but let's start out with just 16 for now and uh, let's make just a door here make sure that you connect the points onto the uh, onto the sectors I'm doing here and there we go and it should look like that once you do that and this sector right here that I'm highlighting that should be the uh, door and now before we actually make that door let's go ahead and just create a sector that's connected to it or this will basically be the room that it leads into so make another square sector and um, make sure that you keep it level with the other sector just for simplicity's sake and make sure that as I'm doing right here that you connect the points onto the doors points there we go so just make sure you connect every point onto the uh, onto the uh, points uh, with the doors and such just so that they connect but um, as you can see we already had this created now in game if we were to play it right now um, this section right here that I'm highlighting where the door should be it will just be an open open uh, doorway I guess you could say there's not really going to be anything there it's just going to be like an open passageway that leads into the other room so there's not a door there already so let's go ahead and add one what you'll first notice is is um, for the door lines you'll see the one over to the left you'll see where the little peg in the middle there I'm not sure if you can see it but it's facing over to the left and uh, the one on the right however is also facing to the left and you'll want it to actually face towards the towards the room because the uh, the little peg there in the middle whichever side it's facing is whichever side can be activated and you don't want it to be facing inwards because that would mean you'd have to be um, technically you'd have to be inside the door to activate it and of course that doesn't make any sense so highlight the right side of that and while it's highlighted just press the F key and it will flip it around there now the peg should be facing outwards this way so this side of the door is facing this way this side of the door is facing this way and um, you'll want to make sure that, that, that it's like that just so you can activate both sides correctly and the first step in making a door is go into sector mode and for the door sector right click it and change the ceiling height to zero and the reason for this is doors are technically ceilings that are touching the ground but when you activate them the ceilings go upward to match the uh, match the other ceiling height so uh, that's basically how it works and I know it's confusing to kind of remember at the beginning but keep that in mind and then uh, for both sides of the door here that I have highlighted go ahead and select those in line mode and right click and let's go ahead and add a upper texture you'll see there where it says missing texture go ahead and select a door texture uh, let's see I'll go ahead and select just big door two, just a simple door texture and once you have that selected these sides right here you'll want these to these will be really thin and uh, want 
first of all you'll want to set it to lower unpegged so right click it in line mode just select those two and select lower unpegged and what this does is it makes it so that when the door opens it looks as if the door is sliding upwards and the wall is not moving with it and if you if you don't select lower unpegged uh, these these sides right here that I had selected they'll move upwards along with the door and it just kind of looks weird it doesn't look right so make sure that lower unpegged is selected and um, once that is selected really that should be all that you'd have to do you can also change these textures um, right there where the middle texture is a lot of people like to select door track because that's what's used often in the game but uh, I'll just go ahead and select it just just for the heck of it but it shouldn't matter for now but once all the textures are selected all that's left to do really now is just to uh, set the line properties and so for the two sides of the doors that you'll be activating here select both of those again right click and in line mode and for line def action I want you to go to select action go to door expand that with a little plus symbol and let's do um, let's try just go to D or DR door open weight close and then in parentheses also monsters so monsters can also use this door as well and also I want to just kind of clarify on something you'll see where it says D1 and then there's a section for DR and then GR S1 this is this can be confusing for beginners it kind of tells you what what they do here I've just used this key up here and it tells you what all of those do so D1 D means that it's a door and as you can see you do not tag doors so you don't have to use sector tags which I'll get into later in some of my other videos so just ignore that for now the one means that you can do it one time or once as you can see here and the R there for DR means that it's repeatable so you can do it over and over and over again so again just go to um, for now I'm um, just go to DR door open weight close let's click OK click OK again and the door should be created and for um, just for the heck of it let's go into 3d mode just to see what it looks like and there you can see my door that I've just created um, now let's go into the other room here there it is again so looks looks pretty good uh, should be ready for you to use right now in fact so let's go ahead and I'm just going to increase the lighting you don't have to do this but just to make it a little bit brighter as you can see the floor and everything looks pretty bad because we haven't worked on these textures but Right now we're just wanting to make